Hello everyone watching at home, you're with Adelaide Eternal. We are doing some playtesting. So this is a continuation of playtesting with Socrates Stavropoulos. And in addition, we've also got Drew on the line. He's cut, tuned in to uh, have a little chat to us. Hi. Hey, how are you going? So uh, after discovering that my um, uh, Lutri combo just did not work, because <laughs> you, can't, you can't copy him like you can copy uh, Dual Caster Mage because he's a legend. So uh, that, that, that adventure didn't quite work. Uh, I'll, I'll uh, chat with uh, Rudy, who's been chatting with me about uh, his deck idea, which is really sweet. Uh, and he tries to copy things like um, Dual Caster Mage, Eternal Witness, all this kind of stuff, which is really sweet. Um, instead, I'm playing a, uh, another deck. This is um, uh, essentially a rug control deck. And I am, uh, prior to rolling the dice sock, uh, I am obligated to tell you that I have Lutri in my sideboard <laughs> and I conform my deck according to its requirements, i.e. playing Highlander. <laughs> so um, I am playing for reference a six point deck just because we don't know what's going to happen with this card. So I'd like to at least err on the side of caution and uh, uh, play a six point version of the deck to see how powerful it is. And we'll, I guess we'll find out soon enough, won't we? Hmm. So I'm what are you playing? playing? I'm still playing Cephalid Branch. <laughs> nice, I love it. Uh, by the way, so Socrates is just absolutely destroying me with Cephalid Branch. Like every time we play, the deck keeps getting more tuned. And every time I look at it, I'm like, oh yeah, Shuko, yeah, that's fine. I guess it's a combo piece. And then you just end up getting beat down or comboed out the last minute. Yeah, Sock, I've been in a real bad mood the last 24 hours, so I'm blaming you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for the record, Drew also has been destroyed. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, it's deck coming out of nowhere. Um, but now that I see you've got six basics, I know not to bring in Blood Moon. No, no, no. Yeah, leave it out. Leave it out. I'll be happy. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Socrates, right, do you want an odds or evens? Yeah, odds, thanks. All right, that's you. Okay. All right. Oh, All right. right. Five, Let's have a look at seven. what we got here. All right, I'll show my hand to the camera if you'd like. Uh, look away. All right. This is a keep. It ain't perfect, but it's a keep because of this. <laughs> All right. Uh, go for oh, it, son. Okay, you okay with it? Yep, I'm going to okay. keep. I'm not looking at the camera if you want to show the camera your hand. Okay. So this is my hand. Not bad. There we go. Oh, I'll pick it up. Alrighty, so I'm, I'm looking again. Yep, All right, no go for it. Playing a swamp and attempting to thought seize. Uh huh. All right, thought seize me. Go ahead. Um, you can take any of these cards: Snapcaster, Ponder, Hex Drinker, Magus of the Moon, Spell Snare. Spell Snare, Magus of the Moon. Um, this out of the way. Ages of the moon. Um, two land expressed now. You know, <laughs> I'm going to actually get rid of your ponder. Yep, that is 100% correct. I was hoping you wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wanted to go ponder into a nicer uh, basic land. All right, I'll draw. Um, all right, I drew something pretty funny. I'm going to play this and I'm going to pass turn. No worries. On tap. I'll show you in a second. Drew, Drew Carter would be proud. I thought you might have drawn Preordain to replace the Ponder. Ah, even better. Even better. I'll show you. Ancestral. This is this is gonna be. Go ahead. Drew, Drew, are you proud of me? I'll cycle Ash Barons. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got your basics. I know, right? How good is that? I will get this. As tempting as it is to go and grab my uh, basic for Hex Drinker. Getting that fatal push seems bad, so let's just uh, get in on the uh, on the uh, back to basics train. All right, so let's untap and draw. I'll play my basic. Yeah, play my basic. Yeah. yeah. All right, and then I'll pass turn. So I also think having a shuffle effect post Blood Moon is also quite good in Ash Barons. Yeah, you're so right. You're so right. Being able to brainstorm and then shuffle is fantastic. And if you've got Jace in your deck or something, it's pretty sweet. I'll tempt the cast Ponder. 
Uh, you can ponder, go for it. Three. Sock's favourite card, Ponder. Ponderosa. Yeah, Ponderosa. He, uh, he even uh, thought sees my Ponder. That's how, that's how much he loves Ponder. <laughs> um, I'll leave a lot of that. Draw. Ash Barons. Enter. Dat, Dat Barons. All right. Oh, draw. Uh, yeah, well, that seems fine. Okay. I'll play this and I'll pass turn. I will fetch at the end. Yep, go for it. I seven in. Uh, that mages is not good. <laughs> yeah, you have to fetch like basic island, basic swamp, and then hope that you draw some way to get basic planes here. Yeah. That's all right. But yeah, if you have fatal push or something, like I can't just jam it straight away. Yeah. All right, so I'll tap, draw, uh, play a land. Yep, there's the basics. One, two, three, four, five, go. So I haven't been as eager to just jam, jam a um, Magus here. All right. Okay. So let's go. I'm going to cast Brainstorm here. Sure. Yeah. All right. Let's go one, two, and three. All right. I'm going to put these cards away, but maybe Snapcaster, Hex Drinker, Magus, Spell Snare. Maybe. Yeah, that's fine. All right. So let's put away this, and we'll put away this, and that should be good. All right. I'll put these two cards away, and then I shall. I shall play this Prismatic Vista. Yep, that's fine. Uh, and then we'll go... One, two, yeah. I'll fetch... I'll get myself basic basic uh, forest and I'll play this. Hex Drinker. Hex Drinker. Uh, and then I might actually level it up once. Let's see. Uh, I will just have a quick look. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll fetch it again and I'll level it up once. And I'll pass turn to you. Uh, in turn, I'm going to brainstorm. Ooh, nice. Yep, go for it. Okay, so one, two. This was definitely a brainstorm turn. We're just playing Legacy right now. Both brainstorm <laughs> in the same turn. Yeah, I've got to try everything. Put two back. Um, uh, hmm. I think I will do this. These two back. Okay. Uh, untap. Draw for the turn. You're hunting for that basic planes. Nice. It's a white source at least. I'll source the plash here. Your hex drinker. Uh, yep. You got it. I'm going to gain two life. I'm winning. <laughs> and I'm going to say your turn. All right. So I've used up your swords to play our shares. Surely, surely I'm safe now, I reckon. Draw. Uh, Sock, I reckon you should um, consider gifts ungiven in the main or the <laughs> sideboard somewhere for some matchups. Yeah, I've been thinking about it. I've been contemplating it. I'm sitting outside now with my iPad using. Oh uh, yeah, I can hear your. Uh, I can hear the wind. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> the wind, that. wind is somewhat loud. <laughs> uh, let's go one, two, three. Uh, all right, I'm going to attempt to cast Magus of the Moon. Sure, that's one. All right. Uh, I'm going to pass turn. Do you have the fatal push? No. Okay, good. All right, so I've locked you off white. That's that's a plus. Um, hmm. Yeah, maybe that was a bit of an error. Uh, 
Yeah, I was really uh, baiting with that hex drinker. I'm figuring you're probably going to kill it. But if you don't kill it, it just goes goes to town and I don't play the Magus. I'm going to end turn. Go. All right. Nothing end of turn. Untap and draw. Okay. All right. Let's go. Let's. Yeah. All right. Let's go with this. I'm going to cast a preordain. Sure. Okay, one and two. All right. Uh, I'll put that away. We don't need that. All right. Uh, and then I'll play a land. Uh, and then I'll attack for two. Yeah, flip thing. All right. Then I'll play Spellseeker. Sure. I'll play, find Ancestor Recall, past 10. Mm. So, Sav, are you and Rug Snoko or something? Yeah, this is this is um, Snoko. Uh, it's it's yeah. really, I, I'm really really high on this card. Obviously, actually, we're all high on this card, aren't we? <laughs> we're all like jamming a call and all our builds. Um, but I'm really high on this, and I'm and in the in the grindy uh, kind of control matchups having. Gifts ungiven, regrowth, um, and the the constant uh, and Mystic Sanctuary and Gush. The constant ability to replay this is just absolutely backbreaking. And Lutriad's another one. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Anytime I want. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. Go. All right. Uh, end of turn. Do I want to draw six cards or three cards? Depends what's in your hand. You probably got enough cards already. Yeah, but I'm greedy. <laughs> I'll get it my turn. <laughs> oh, I would A call end of turn and then just like regrowth and then loot tree or something. Oh, yeah, possibly. Um, all right, so let's get in for some attacks here. Three? Yeah, three damage. Yeah. Getting in there. Uh, okay. <laughs> the fact that you can loot tree under Blood Moon is pretty insane. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's. So good, right? So good. Uh, okay, I'm going to. Nah, let's just let's just do this. I'm gonna play Dak Faden. Tack. Yeah, that's one. Yeah. All right. I, I had it in my hand for a while, but I thought you might have spell snare, a uh, spell pierce. I really didn't want to just get stack spell pierced. It was bad. Um, all right, I'm gonna loot. Um, and two. Do you play spell pierce, sir? Yeah, now I have. I've put Pierce and Snare on. Okay. I've made some slight changes from yesterday. All right. I think the Pact of Negation is awesome. Yeah. I'll discard these two removal spells. Uh, oh. And then I'll pass 10. Um, sure. The temptation to A call beforehand is really high, but I um, don't need to right now. Do you me? Uh, okay, I'll respond. Uh, I'll cast Ancestor Recall. Targeting me? Um, I'll negate that. Oof, very nice. Um, that's that's fair. All right. That's okay, though. You buys you a turn. That's time yeah, lockdown. Yeah, and you tap, it, you tap it out, right? Um, yep, you can duress me. Uh, I think you take Gush, right? Or do you take Spell Snare because you've got... Um, like the combo in hand. Uh, Remember, you got to tap out next turn as well. Yeah, G gosh. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, do you have? Do you have it? Do you gonna jam jam something into my spell snare? Oh, I can't jam anything. I'm gonna no. stop my land and say go. Nice. Right, you lose the game, sure. mate. Why? Because you didn't pay the pack trigger. No, nah, next turn. That's my next turn. Oh, sorry. Next turn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thought he was calling in his turn. Yeah. No. Nah. No, nah, he did it my turn. Because I duress. Oh, I duress. It was in response to the duress. All right. Uh, let's get in there for three. Yeah. I'm on mine. All right. Uh, I'm going to. So you're going to tap out, right? Okay. 
Tapping out's fine. Actually, um, I am going to use. No, you'll just tap out next to him. No, nah, it's two blues. Oh, you don't have double it. blue. <laughs> I just saw that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Assuming, assuming you don't, I'm pretty sure I, I, I'm pretty sure I have you right. Like, you just the amount of draw that I'm going to have is pretty high. <laughs> uh, the, draw, the amount of drawing and looting. Uh, yeah. I don't normally pay for it, so. Yeah, you usually just get a freebie, right? That's right. Free counter spell. Uh, so that was you on the play? Uh, yes. That? Yeah. All right. So that's me next. Uh, so, Drew, what do you think about Ancestral Recall in Highlander right now? Ah, oh, Drew's gone. <laughs> what do I think about Ancestral Recall in Highlander right now? <laughs> hmm, funny you'd ask that. Well, I think Ancestral Recall is probably uh, one of the best ways to spend four points. Um, back when Dig Through Time and Cruise were both one point each and Treasure Cruise was one point. Uh, not Treasure Cruise. Um, True Name Nemesis was one point. It was literally a no-brainer to just jam the maximum amount of sheer value points into your deck with you know cruise and dig and true name and so on with all of those cards being two points now uh it's actually a legitimate decision you have to make a decision between going like dig through time force of will mana drain or a call or do you go for the um, raw value trains where they go dig and cruise or do you go a call and then you've got the other ones where you go uh you're in a tempo deck do you go cruise and true name nemesis uh, you're in a control deck. You got Dig and True Name Nemesis. There's so many uh, legitimate decisions to make. So I think it's um, I think a call at uh, at the moment is now a legitimate contender for uh, best choice of of points alongside those other possible four point uh, blue card configurations. So I like it, and so therefore I'm playing a call. And many, many ways to cast the A call again. So uh, I'm on the play, right? So let's have a look. Yeah, yeah. Let's have a look at what we've got. Uh, it is a clunker. This is so bad. This is not what I want to see. It's gone. It's out of here. All right. So, Sav, do you think, um, you, I, assume, I assume you still think rug is the best colours? Oh yeah, and so what is the and is tempo still the best archetype for rug? Uh, so I think rug can play a very good control game, like the version that I've sleeved up right now. Um, it can also play a very good um, tempo game, and it I've seen it play a mid range game. I've definitely seen it play mid range. I don't think it's good in comparison to four color mid range. I think four color mid range is just better um so like you know rug but with black in it to have access to amazing black cards so mm. that's that's my take on it at least so you're, you're not you don't think the tempo is just way better than the control option uh i think that tempo has the issue of running up against mid-range which is probably 40 percent of the format potentially more than that yeah. and having just like one really bad matchup is not ideal um when you had when you have access to you know both a call and uh true uh time walk you have two possible ways to just like get there without you know push through that alongside price nice. and progress you can just push through a mid-range deck um, don't really have that ability to just kind of, you know, buys wins that you used to have. Um, yeah. So I, I still think tempo is just awesome, but I don't think it's as obvious as before where it's just like, you just should be on tempo and controls uh, was a dog to those versions of the tempo deck. Now it's, um, it's a lot closer. So yeah, that's good. That's a good, good result of the pointing so. mm, mm. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I'll keep this and I'll put away one card. Let's put away. Let's put this away. Yeah. All right. All righty. I'm on the play. I'm going to shock and pass. Sure. 
like not its fame. Cool, cool. I'm going to cycle sensor. I'll draw a card and then I'll untap and I'll draw a card. Uh, okay, I'm going to play land and I'm going to pass 10. Cool. Play island and go. Nice. Uh, end of turn, I'll fetch. Uh, I'm going to cast Glimpse of Freedom. So this is think twice because I don't own a glimpse of freedom because <laughs> it, it's uh, uh, I haven't drafted any Theros in real life. Um, so glimpse of freedom for anyone who hasn't seen it is exactly think twice, but instead you escape the flashback and it's exile five cards. I'm testing it. Don't know if it's good. It's probably bad, but it's it's something that I want to test alongside my um, my. Uh, Gifts package because when I'm playing, when I'm playing against, uh, sorry, when I'm when I'm playing in the bug control version, bug to basics, uh, I have this is my um, cling to dust slot, which is awesome in the main deck as an extra card in your gifts piles, but you don't have that ability in rug, so that is a downside. So I draw a card off this. I got a mine. And you were saying um, the four mana one was another option. Yeah, so the I th I think it's it's possible that um, that the four mana one is just better. Um, what's it called? Chemist's insight. Yeah, it's possible that that's just better. Um, it wouldn't have been wouldn't have been better there though. There, that's a perfect example of where it was good. Like I was actually missing my land drop. I was going to miss my land drops if I didn't sensor cycle and think twice. Um, Glimpse of freedom. I would have actually missed my land drop, and that's bad because I didn't. I had a one land hand, but it was a one land sensor uh, think twice hand. So I hit yeah. it. Uh, I'll pass turn. Uh, end turn of fetch. Yep. And yeah, are you gonna how 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 baller are you gonna be? You're gonna get the basic um, uh, planes. What are the odds ah. that I have a Nice. Lovely. And I'm going to attempt to... Push this? Yeah. 19. Yep, you got it. And we'll push it. I suspect the meta's shaping up to be like... There's like the Brazen Borrower um, Bone Crusher decks. Yeah. And then there's like the Thassa's Oracle decks. Mm. And they're like kind of fighting with different colours on different axes. It's quite interesting. Good point. I'll say enter. Alrighty. Oh, I'll get a mine. And draw. Uh, play this. Okay, so how many cards do you have in hand, Sock? I've got six. Six cards. Hmm, interesting. Six cards. I'm going to pass turn. Okay. Sometimes you've got to be patient. Uh, your turn. Uh, end of turn. I won't do anything. I'll drop. So, why don't you yep. end of turn Lutri? Just cast him for, and beat him down. Uh, I've got a different plan. But All it right. is definitely, it's a legit plan. I totally agree with you. Uh, I'm going to shock. Um, and then I'm going to play Magic of the Moon. I will risk. Bond. Yep. With brainstorm. All right. Uh, you may. You. Oh, so you got to fetch land here. So. Yep. Uh, yep. You got it. Uh, one, two, three. Um, yeah, the literary beats. It's kind of like having a Vandillion click in your sideboard, right? Yeah, I think the, the the fact that the a control deck now has another like end of turn turn three play to like fade out counter magic or before like untapping with four mana is really valuable. Yeah, well, that's just like literal baseline, right? Like worst possible scenario. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and that's insane. That's a great great scenario. So yeah, that's why I'm playing this as a six point deck <laughs> for now to see what happens. Um, 
to so I'll put these two back. I'm gonna yep. fetch. Yep. You're gonna go basic, basic uh, swamp here, or are you just like no fear? Um, that's a good point. Or do you um, need to get watery? Uh, need to get like watery grave 1.0, underground sea. <laughs> this could be the game deci decider. I did play this on turn back. five, and I've got two mana open. Whoa, could be anything. I think I'll go with yeah, swamp. Yeah, gotta be safe. Yeah. And then does it resolve? It resolves. Okay, cool. I'll pass turn. Okay, so uh, how many cards do you have in your hand? Three. I'm on a mulligan and on the play, so I should have far less cards than you. You're on far fewer. You've got, what, six got cards? One, two, three, four, five, six. I've got seven. Seven cards. Woof. Aren't I meant to be the control deck? What's going on here? It's all right. This is, I'm all in on this plan. Control plan. Control Ooh. slash lock. Yeah, interesting. Like, I'm okay doing this because my deck only has five green cards, you know, or six green cards in the main deck. It's okay to just, like, occasionally lock yourself out. Black. Colors. Collective brutality on the mages. This and no escalate? No escalate. Uh, I'll remand it. Ooh. Okay. Buys me one turn, right? And. Yep, I'll draw from I'll the. Your turn. Draw from the remand. Uh, I'll tap and I'll draw. All right, so let's get in there. Yeah. I'm going to make a pretty hilarious play because I don't have a counter spell for that collective brutality when it comes back down again. Uh, so I'm going to die fleet daredevil it. Uh, so I'll cast die fleet daredevil. Uh, yeah. I assume it resolves. I'll target your collective brutality. But that's in my, isn't that in my hand? Oh, it's not in the graveyard. My bad. Yeah, yeah that's not. Dirt. All right, well, you're probably going to be able to kill my Magic of the Moon here. Uh, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> um, let's go. Oh, maybe I could cast your Brainstorm. That'd be pretty good. Very sweet. Yeah, I think that might be the way. Sure, yeah. All right, let's, let's cast your Brainstorm. Yeah. All right, and I'll use red. I'll use blue for it. Oh, that's a good question. I'll use green for it. All right, let's cast brainstorm. One, two, and three. Okay, and then I'll put away this card and I'll put away this card. Okay, uh, I'm gonna pass turn to you. On tap, draw. Um, interesting now. Mm. Did I hit a counter spell off the brainstorm? That's the question. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I forgot the, uh, <laughs> the collective brutality is in your hand <laughs> like looking out on the battlefield like yeah this is going to be such a great play <laughs> I'm going to have to cast it yeah are you escalating um, no I'm not going to escalate okay cool I'll hard cast force of negation sure uh, go All right. tap and drop okay let's get in there for how much four um, so one, two, okay. So I'm on 12. Uh, then I'll pass 10. Mm. Draw. 
Um, interesting spot here. Can my two to my little bears go the distance? Oh, this is going to be interesting. Can you combo with like one blue, one black, three red? No. <laughs> I'm going to say your turn. At right, end of turn, I'm going to glimpse of freedom escape. So I escape these five cards. Can I respond to that before the escape or not? Uh, you can't respond to the cost because I'm paying the cost to exile, but, uh, uh, and this is on the stack. Yeah. So you can't like respond by exiling from the graveyard. unless sure. you. Okay, that's fine. All right, I'll draw. And then that's still in the graveyard. Uh, and I'll go to my turn. And I'll draw. Okay. Uh, let's go, let's go preordain. Yeah. Oh, I'll look at two, one and two. Okay, hmm, that's interesting. Okay, we'll go, we'll go top, top. Boom, boom. Uh, draw this card. Okay, and then we will play land, uh, attack for four. I'm on eight. All right, yeah, eight. Okay, uh, I'm going to pass turn. Um. Draw. Oh, come on. Play watery gray. Um, attempt to cast a shuku. Uh, yep, that resolves. And um, I want to say enter. All right, end of your turn. I'm going to cast. Brainstorm. I'm going to retain priority and I'm going to cast Lutri and I'm going to copy Brainstorm. Um, you don't have to pay the Brainstorm cost again. You no, but I've already, I've already cast Preordain earlier last oh, time. Oh, sorry. Okay. Is this good? I'm thinking about the. Can I can I do something to the lootery? Yeah, you can respond to this. This is a bit on the stack. That's on the stack. This is on the stack, and it hasn't come into play yet. When it comes into play, it'll copy that. If you counter the brainstorm, he won't have anything to copy. Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking of that too. Um, do you want to misstep it? Oh, I just don't really want to do that. I'm going to say, go for it. All right, cool. This guy resolves. I'll do the first copy of Brainstorm. All right, so one, two, and three. And then I will assign these as one and two. Uh, and then I'll cast the Brainstorm itself. And I'll dig one deeper. And then I'll put back one and I'll put back two. Uh, and uh, any other effects before your end of turn? Because we're still in your end no. step. Cool. All right, I'll lethal you. I'll do two to you. And then I'll attack for seven next turn. Uh, do you have an interaction? Me, that's fine. All right, so two to you. Yep. I'll untap. I'll go to my turn. So uh, I'm on six. Yeah, I'll go to attacks. Okay. So in your attacks? Yep. Uh, black. Blue, 
I'll attempt to drown the lock the um, the mages. Oh, the mages. Oh, interesting. Okay, I'll counter it. Um, how many cards do you have in your hand? I got four. Well, it's now or never. I will pack and negate your counter. Yep. You got it. All right, so this guy dies. Yeah. Uh, you take five. You go to one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll fire you for two. Well, that does it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the literally let me just turn the corner pretty quickly. I honestly didn't care about the brainstorm because uh, I already knew one of the cards that was on top of the deck and it was one of the burn spells. Um, and I just thought... Let's let's get a three-two beater in there. Yeah. Interesting. Are we doing uh, sideboards or do you want another main? Uh so we've had one of each of us on the play. Yeah, yeah. Uh so how about we check out our sideboards then? Okay. All right. So uh Thanks for watching, everyone. That was our two game ones. Well, let's go to two game twos, one of each of us on the play. We'll see you in the next video.